SBR videos are sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Perform videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing the main card of UFC 164 right now with Nick Kalikas from MMAOddsBreaker.com. He is a professional MMA odds maker and handicapper, and also also from MMAOddsBreaker.com. Adam Martin, uh, another professional uh, MMA handicapper and writer. All right, guys. Now we're going to talk about Dustin Poirier and Eric Koch. And uh, Nick, I know that at your uh, at your premium service, uh, you're going to have a pick on this fight, right? Tell us a little bit about what that is. Yeah, exactly. We have uh, MMA OB Premium, so I really can't go into too much detail right. about this fight. I hate to kind of can out like that, but we've covered the other fights too, so I think that's a little fair. But this fight, I can't get into too much detail. If uh, you want to know which way we're really going to go, you have to get uh, the Premium Package. Right, right. Or you can I know, or you can just listen to me right now because I know which pick this is. I know which pick this is, baby. I think I know it. Dustin <laughs> Poirier plus one ten, Eric Koch minus one fifty. So I'm seeing it five times, still a forty cent line. I'm thinking the pick has to be Poirier at uh, at plus 110. You know, he went the distance with Cub Swanson. Very impressive. Swanson had been knocking people out. He also took a weight cut for that one. He had to, you know, make the weight and travel a lot. So it wasn't ideal for him. But the, everything I've been reading, he's on the way up, both physically and mentally. I'm thinking that uh, Poirier at plus 110 is a side here. Adam Martin, what do you think? Yeah, you know what? I actually had the same thoughts you as you initially, Peter. Um, mm -hmm. He was actually plus 135 like last week, and I was like, man, there's definitely some value here. But then I did some more research, mm -hmm. and I actually like Coke now. Really? Um, yeah, I do like Coke in this fight, actually, at minus 150 here. Um, again, first off, it's a close fight. He's going to be fighting in his hometown, so you have to give him the edge with the judges once again. And we always have to say that because with the state of MMA judging, you never know. Even if Poirier's, you know, he, even if he should win the fight, he, he could get screwed by the by the hometown judge. You never sure. know. But I do think he's just going to win because I think he's just the overall better fighter, and I think he's mm -hmm. a better striker. And I think the fight's going to stay in the feet, and I think he's going to be able to outstrike Poirier here. Um, Eric Coe trains under uh, Rufus Spore. He trains with Anthony Pettis. He trains with some of the best strikers in the world there. Um, he did have a disappointing performance in his last outing against Ricardo Lamas. I bet him in that fight. I was expecting better things from him. But, you know, after the fight, I kind of thought about why he lost that fight. And he had been out for like 14 months, uh, sorry, like 16 months, actually. And that's too long. If a guy's out for more than 12 months, you should probably stay away from a bet mm -hmm. on him. And I learned from that one. But, you know, in this particular spot, I think that, uh, you know, this is a good rebound spot. I like Dustin Poirier a lot. I, th I think he's a great fighter. I think he's top 10 in the world in his division. But the UFC sees a lot of potential in Eric Koch. And um, they've act they actually booked him to fight Jose Aldo last year. Don't forget that. So they know this guy can be a title contender. Right. Um, I, think, I think Dustin Poirier was overachieving a little bit. The last couple of years, not against uh, none of his last call fights, uh, especially against Cubs Swanson, like you said, very respectful performance. But he was being a couple of guys that I think that you know people didn't think he would. Like remember Josh Grisby when he beat him, people didn't think that was going to happen. So I think he overachieved for a bit. I think he's a good fighter, but I don't know, man. He seems to have like lost his identity a little bit. He seems like he's bouncing around. He left his old camp. He's at a new camp. He hasn't been successful since he's been there. So I, uh, I'm going to take Eric Koch here, um, either by decision or maybe even possibly by TKO. Although Dustin Poirier is pretty tough, so I don't know if he's going to get stopped. Okay, I, I take it back. Now I think that uh, Nick's pick, officially, I think Nick's pick is Eric Koch at minus 150. Nick, where'd you open these lines? I well, opened at minus 140, okay. um, like even money. So so a slight lean as far as the odds go. And again, I mean, I've opened quite a bit of lines one way or the other, and public perception does come into play with that mm -hmm. too. So really can't get a lean just based on that. And if anything, the lines kind of went up a little bit too. Um, and both of these guys are definitely one of, uh, or two of the top uh, 145ers, no doubt about it too. So a competitive fight, they're so well-rounded. I mean, that's the beauty of this fight. I don't think, right. a lot of times we get let down by um, fights that we're expecting to be great, but this fight, I don't think we're going to get let down at all. I think right. it's going to be a solid fight. All right. Well, at this point, it's going to be a pass for me, and I have no clue really at the moment what uh, Nick's premium pick is going to be. But uh, you can find that at MMAOddsBreaker.com. Nick, thanks so much for joining us today. And Adam Martin, appreciate it.